Yo, Pacers Packers and Ants. Um, uh, quick video, uh, because I want to play some Yakuza. But, uh, you know, the Pacers, uh, there's news going around saying how Nate Bjorkman, uh, and some of the key players like TJ Warren, Malcolm Brogdon, and Miles, our starting five, just put it that way, because our starting five is maybe TJ McConnell. Other than that, it's our starting five plus TJ McConnell for our key players. Anyways, uh, there's rumors going out that Nate Bjork uh, is going to get fired after this season. Uh... I don't have an opinion on it, to be completely honest, and I know you guys like my, want me to give my deepest and honest opinions about my sports teams, but to be honest, I don't have an opinion on it. I did read what some guy from Bleacher Report, it wasn't on the uh, official Bleacher Report website, but according to that website, this dude worked for Bleacher Report, and I trust Bleacher Report. Um... And, uh, he said that he gets mad over the minor little things, like the ball, like the ball whack during practice is not placed properly, uh, that if, uh, we're not doing one little thing correctly, he gets pissed off, uh, I mean, having the ball rack, you can't be mad at that. I mean, and then there were some times where Sabonis, the guy from Bleach Report said that Demonis Sabonis said that you need to be a little nicer and then that he's micromanaging the team. Uh, he's not as friendly as he seems is pretty much what I'm getting at. He seems a friendly dude to the media and shit like that. But to players, to staff, uh, the whole organization, he just, a big bitch, uh, and, I will be the first one to admit it, I owe Nate McMillan an apology, I wanted Nate McMillan gone, but, I don't, I miss him, I never think, I never thought in my life I would ever say that, but, I miss Nate B. York, I mean, I miss Nate, uh, McMillan, uh, we need another star player. We need to fire Kevin Pritchard. We need, I don't know if we need to fire Nate Bjorkman because we do have a lot of damn injuries. But if these reports... Well, I'm just telling you what the reports say. If these reports are saying too that he gets pissed off about the ball back being misplaced. If he gets pissed off and micromanaging, then get the fuck out of my team. Uh, there's also rumors saying that Mike D'Antoni... I don't know if I mentioned this yet today. But there's rumors that Mike D'Antoni is going to... Uh, pop in and coach the squad. Uh, and then TJ Warren did come back and say that, uh, that was BS. They did not ask for a trade. And then one of our assistant coaches named Greg Foster, who I think played in the NBA, uh, he's one of our assistant coaches. Uh, and during the heat of the moment, competitors. I mean, he played in the NBA. I don't know what team. You can go look it up, Wikipedia. But he, uh, Goga hit a three. Uh, don't know if it was wide open. Like I said, I quit. I watch highlights maybe every now and then. But I saw this report, and I wanted to see it for myself. A lot, like, on video. Uh, but I'm done watching the games this year. I might watch tonight. Who knows? I'm just not interested anymore. I'm not. I mean, the Pacers don't care, so why should I care? That's what Born Ready Jones said. Anyways, um, so, um, there was a report that Greg Foster got, that, uh, and it's true, actually, I did see it on video, that, um, Greg Foster got mad at Goga Batadze, because Goga, we played the Sacramento Kings last night, lost, not surprising. I don't care. Uh, we lost the Sacramento Kings, but Goga hit a three. I don't know if he was... I think he was wide open. 
hit a three. Thank God, because he can never hit a three, even though he's always open. But anyways, that's besides the point. But anyways, and then Goga lets the Kings play it. Just say, here you go. Here's the rim for you. Here's a free layup. I'm not going to block your shot. And then, no, I think that happened before the three. And then Goga hits the three. And then Goga turns around to either Nate. According to uh, Born Ready Jones, it's, uh, he said it. He said what I'm about to say to, to Nate, not Greg. But I would assume it would be to Greg because Greg's the one that got all pissed. Uh, and Greg got suspended and Goga got fined. I don't know how much Goga got fined. But uh, anyways, um, but according to Born Ready, he said that he's, what I'm about to say is that he said it to Nate, not Greg, but I would think he said it to Greg, because Greg's the one that got all pissed off. But anyways, Greg said that, um, he told, Goga told, uh, either Nate or Greg to, uh, set the fuck down. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't do that to an assistant coach, but an assistant, yeah. So, it depends whoever he was saying that to. To a head coach who's trying to coach you to a game, no, do not say that because he's trying to coach you to a win, even though we're not winning. An I don't see us winning another game this year. I really don't. Uh, I mean, we're too, we're too far ahead of Toronto. And actually, no, we're not, but who cares at this point? But anyways, uh, don't have an opinion on whether we should fire Nate B. York or not. Uh... Just giving you guys the reports. Uh, I mean, we can always do the same thing we did last year. Look for a new head coach, but I don't know. Uh, or fire Kevin Pritchard because we need a player. We had a go go. I mean, uh, Born Ready said we need a player just like as equal to uh, Sabonis off the bench. And I am com I'm gonna comment on his video saying we had one. His name was Alize Johnson. Remember that name, cause he's gonna be a name in the NBA. He's not one now, but he will. Especially since he played in the small market Indiana Pacers, I gave him the right to play behind Demontis Sabonis. I gave him the right. He's earned it to me. Hell, last year in the bubble, I would have brought him off the bench right behind Sabonis in the playoffs. Would have helped us. Oh, wait. Hell, I would have started Alizé because we didn't have uh, Sabonis in the playoffs last year. Hell, I would have started Alizé because Alizé just that good at rebounding the basketball. He had 16 points, 19 rebounds against us in a Brooklyn Nets uniform. And he's about to get a free ring. It's just bizarre. And then you got the Trailblazers. I don't know if I told you guys this, but TJ Leaf is back in the NBA. The worst player in the history of basketball. The Tra Portland Trailblazers signed uh, TJ Leaf to a two-way contract. Uh... Hey, Portland's front office. Bad, bad, bad move. TJ Warren Leaf cannot hit an open layup. TJ Warren. I mean, TJ Leaf could. The only thing he could probably do is rebound. Can't shoot. Can't pass. And hell, I would even call Alizé Johnson a better rebounder than him. But anyway, that's my take. Uh, I don't have an opinion. Just giving you guys the news. But... Um, peace.